my opponent being Puerto Rican and I'm half Mexican, half Korean. Yeah. Just a lot of bad blood with uh, the Mexicans and the Puerto Ricans. Already. In boxing, so uh, I named a great fight. Um, uh, let's go Shakur about this. You know, I think Shakur is just on another level. He can't hit the man, and uh, he's one hell of a boxer. Southpaw, slick, and uh, you know, I'm betting on I'm betting on Shakur. And as far as Devin Haney and Cambosos? Devin Haney and Cambosos, that's a great fight. Great fight for boxing as well. Uh, you know, uh, undisputed fight. Um, I have to go with Devin Haney. Devin Haney uh, busts his ass in the gym. And um, he's a great boxer. A lot of speed. And a uh, great ring IQ. Hey, Brandon, I got to ask you since. Since this is a welterweight fight on the main event. Uh, and I know you good brothers with Jerron Bucinis. Where do you think he fits in with, uh, you know, as far as... The winner of this fight or potentially Crawford and Errol Spence. What do you think? You know, you know, Boots believes in himself, and I believe in Boots. Um, I I already already have Boots on my top pound for pound list. Um, I think he's ready. He thinks he's ready. So, uh, you know, I think it's it's only a matter of time. Why do you think a fighter who hasn't won a championship is pound for pound already? Just the way he's he's been dominating his opponents. The way he looks. Um, we know that he's a hard worker. We know he's dedicated. And that's really what it takes to become a champion in the sport. And just for people who don't know, can you kind of break down y'all background, like how y'all became cool? And yeah, so uh, I remember uh, we used to see each other around at the amateurs. And uh, I remember one time I saw him, I was like, damn, that guy's good. And uh, later on, it, felt, it turned out we were assigned to the same manager. So we started fighting on the same cards, and that's how our relationship got closer. And yo, I just interviewed your opponent. He said he has the fastest knockout in Texas history. Well, a couple times in Texas, I actually got the fastest knockout in boxing history in Texas. Oh, what? Two seconds. Who's that? Uh, uh, I don't know who he knocked out. Remember the fighter's name? Um, it was too quick. I forgot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your opponent. Your oh, opponent. my opponent. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. says that he has the fastest knockout in uh, Texas history. Yeah. What do you think about that? And are you going to try to beat it? No, nah, that's good for him. I'm, I'm not looking at other people's plates. Um, that's good for him, but uh, try that with me, see what happens. Okay. What's going on, brother? How you right. feeling today? What up, man? How's it going? So, tell me about the adjustment uh, working with yeah, Stephen Brad, man. That was, how has that changed your game, if anything? I mean, since I got with him, it changed my whole career. You know what I'm saying? He brought me back to school. He brought me back to the basics, and I'm just so glad that me and him collaborated. What was the main reason why you changed to uh, Brain Man Owens? Because it was time to step it up. You know, it was time to step up, step it up and bring my game to the next level. And I feel like he was the perfect man. And what do you know about your opponent, uh, Brandon Lee? I mean, what's not to know about him? You know what I'm saying? He's good, he's undefeated, strong fighter. But, you know, come Saturday, we're going to test that out. Do you feel like he has a lot of hype behind him? I mean, I feel like, you know, he's earned his hype. But at the end of the day, a big fight, that's all that matters. What are ultimately is your goal in boxing? Like, do you want to contend for them titles, and who are you looking at? My goal in boxing is to, first of all, Saturday. Let's focus on Saturday to win my fight. Win my fight Saturday, and everything comes after that, world title contention. And where are you originally from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay. Yeah. You ever fought in Texas before? Yep. When the, uh, how was it? How was the result? I fought a couple times in Texas. I actually got the fastest knockout in boxing history in Texas. Oh, what? Two seconds. And I fought in here before, so this is this is okay. when when was that? Well I fought here in 2016, I fought here in 2015. Remember the fighter's name? Um, it was too quick. I forgot, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too, too quick, too quick. Alright man, we appreciate you and